Hey GearHeads, Jeff with Gear Report here at the Denton Military Vehicle and Gun Show 2019. If you didn't see, we have a video of sun visors in a Humvee that Ben was kind enough to do with us. He has done another upgrade that I think is going to be really interesting to people. Uh, everyone knows that the stock military seats kind of suck in Humvees. So he went with the Chrysler Pacifica second row seats and he's going to show us, every, we've seen lots of pictures of the seats, but what I have had trouble finding is exactly how to install them. He did some kind of innovative things. So Ben, why don't you show us what you did? Yeah, we'll start off here with the front seat and so we took the entire frame that was that supports the stock seat, unbolted it here and here and on the other side, and just took all of that out. That comes with a, a little bit of adjustment in there. Um, I knew that wasn't going to work with this seat, so I pulled it out of there. Um, I've got this cross member here holding the front of the seat, and if you want to slide it back here to the back, this is actually the piece of metal that was cut out of the rear support here. And so in both of you know there's a, a channel that runs back here and so I, I cut that out to get a little more leg room in the seat up front. I did leave about a quarter half inch uh, lip here just for some rigidity in the angle and it's also even a long larger lip on the bottom here. That's a full half inch right there. Okay. Um, and these are just some L brackets from Tractor Supply come under and they're in line with the substructure of the seat. and bolted right into them. Uh, I might still come in and do a little more beefing it up, but right now it's doing great. And the beauty of using that piece that I cut out of the rear is one, I didn't have to go buy a new bracket up here. Two, it's the same aluminum, the same material, the same thickness as everything that's in the Humvee already. Right. Um, and I can show you kind of a sit in. I've got plenty of leg room. I can stick my leg out straight right now. Look at that. Um, that was a pipe dream for me, dude. The, uh, <laughs> it has some adjustment in it. You can move around in it. Um, it's, it's, it's worked out great. They're actually comfortable. You got arms on both sides for captain chairs. Look at that. Um, been very pleased with them. Yeah, plenty of room for that, too. All right. So, here on the back seat, this was a much easier install. Basically, the flat metal sheet that's back there, I just took and set the seat on here got it kind of where I wanted and then I just kind of beat on the seat mm -hmm. and use the four screws that are on the substructure of the seat to scuff up the metal plate and then I was able to take that out take those, that's those scuffs kind of drill some pilot holes just do some test fitting to make sure it worked out and it did perfect um, and I just take that same metal sheet and clamp it in there the way it's mounted already and you can see here I'm about 5'10 5'11 and I've got four fingers, almost a full hand here. Wow. Yeah. Um, this side, if I have anyone that's a little larger with me, I'd get them to sit on this side, they're riding in the back. Yeah. You've got a lot more foot room as there opposed to yeah. the other side well. where the battery box is. Yep. Um, cool. So it's worked out great. Awesome. you a little more of the mounting of the rear seat here so this is that flat plate it clamps in right here and holds it in and the lips grab right back there with these here the only tricky thing was if you can see here the metal rigid support hit dead center of the bolt so I just cut those out filed them down bolted it in it's been doing great um, and it's super easy all right, uh, so no other modifications to the bottom box? Yeah, no, nothing else in the back. That's it. Um, just put it on there, beat down, scuffed up, got some points to drill in, bolted it down, and clamped it back in. Okay, and what you just talked about a minute ago on the other side was the foot room down here because of the battery box. So that is what you're talking about that would get in the way of uh, feet sitting there. All right. Yeah. Cool. Um, so here on the back, the passenger seat for, like Jeff said, this Chrysler Pacifica. No 
no matter what seat you have, this passenger front passenger seat is going to be your tricky one. Um, I cut it out the exact same way as I did on the other side in hopes that I'd be able to slide it back. Um, it just didn't work out that way after fiddling with it. Um, in retrospect, I wish I'd left it, but it was part of the learning curve. Um, I've got a buddy that's I'm going to get to weld that part back in there, get that stiffness back. And you can see here the seat belt is in line with the edge of the seat. Now then you could relocate this if you want. Um, it's just yeah, a, some people put them up here, right? Right. Um, it's just another another part of the project you would have to do if you wanted to do that. Yep. Um, but and, I think the next thing you're going to talk about is the reason why that may not be worthwhile. Exactly. And that's the, for this, like I said, for this particular seat, you notice here, right now, it's just in, which works fine. I've got soft doors, so I've got plenty of room here. But if you see once it comes out, this, the armrest actually telescopes out. Um, so it tucks in nice and tight. But when it's down, it telescopes out. So you can't go back anymore anyway because you're touching yep. the frame of the truck there. Um, okay. And so this is one of the other trickier parts that I was talking about with this passenger seat is here on the uh, tunnel yeah yep. when the tunnel comes up it's parallel with the truck but then it flares right here and you can see how it runs at a different angle um, as opposed to the seat edge here so what happens is I can't go any further back because of the armrest and the seat rest so the thought was well I'll come further into the cab but you can't come any further into the cab because your front of your chair starts hitting the flare of the tunnel. Now then if you have a different model of chair, you might get lucky and it worked a little better. Um, I've seen a few guys, they'll actually cant the chair so that it uh, it just sits a little cockeyed, but they can get a little more of the rear of the chair inside the vehicle. If you have hard doors, that might be an option. Um, but for me, this just, I, I, it felt better being able to sit perpendicular and square in the truck <laughs> yeah. when you're looking forward. It would be kind of weird sitting cocked off to the side. Right. Um, so that was the yeah you want to hop in there and show us what the yeah. leg room looks like on this side you have the heater this is one reason i was wanting to come back as far as possible because you've got all the uh, mechanics of the heater right here but i've still got i can put a full hand between me and the vent hose there and you could probably pull that over if you needed to yeah um that's a almost a full hand of yep. clearance there but i've got plenty of room um oh I yeah i can't get a full extension but i'm probably 90 percent extended right there right with my legs um, the other nice thing about these chairs is you can fold it down flat. Um, so if you are taking it in and out of the truck, you can fold it down flat. It's a whole lot easier to take out, put in, oh, yeah. things of that nature. Um, the back one back there, I was going to show you, you can actually take it and slide it forward and back. I can't do that in this one, obviously, because... I'm already bottomed out on the tunnel there. Right. Um, but the driver's seat and the back ones, you can actually adjust forward and back just like a regular car. Right. Um, so it's 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 been a great upgrade. Um, much more comfortable, much more pleasant. Having the armrest on those long rides is nice. Um, I haven't had any issues. It's been a great upgrade. And awesome. Very weather resistant with the leather. Oh, as well. that's a good point. Yeah. And and where did you get the seats? Um, I actually so on Steel Soldiers there was a forum for seats, and someone mentioned the guy out in Las Vegas that was he uh, renovates um, the Chrysler Pacifica to be ADA accessible. Right. And so he's taking the chairs out, and I reached out to the guy that made the post, and he actually had the set already. Because I was again just like with the sun visors, I was looking for some brown ones. Um, so he shipped them to me and um so a combination of still soldiers and ebay um yep. for these but you can find these on ebay um, i'll put a link up there for uh, for ebay for these seats as well in the description of the video if anyone has any questions uh go ahead and post the questions and i won't attempt to answer them because i haven't done this project but i'll uh, i'll see if i can get ben to look over them and give some feedback to any questions you post so I want to do two more things, if that's all right with you. Yeah. Let's go back to the other side and see. Um, actually, before we go over here, you hold this. Okay. And I want to see how I fit in here because you said, you know, 5'11 ish. I'm about 6'4. And 
honestly, this is kind of surprising to me. Um, I expected for my knees to be way up in, but if I move it in, if I try to hold it straight, I'm into this um, pose. But if I just move it over a little bit, then I fit right in the gap there, and I'm not hitting this either, which I, I honestly thought I would. So this isn't a lot different than how a military high back seat fits me. Um, okay, and then that one doesn't slide. So if we uh, go to the other side, then you can show us how they slide back and forth and maybe uh, I can hop in so we get the, the kind of contrast between, you know, 511 like and 64 there. Just like a regular seat, you just pull up on it and it slides forward. I pretty much always keep it in the back position because you just have limited leg room no matter what you do. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's if you've got someone smaller you need to get in the back, um, it's the same way. This folds right down. Um, Put it right back up. Nice. It's that easy. Cool. Um, Jeff, you want to try it out? All right, here you go. Yeah, and you know, before we started filming, I, I actually sat here for the sun visor video, and uh, I was pretty surprised that all the pictures I'd seen, this is why I really wanted to do this video, is you can find pictures of seats installed, but it's hard to find how people actually fit in them. I, and I assumed from everything I'd seen that there was no way that these would work for me. But, I mean, I'm not touching. I, it's a quarter inch or a half inch at, at best here, but I'm not touching. I assumed that I would be like all up in them. And I mean, if I scoot back a little, I got a good half inch there. So, mm -hmm. I mean, this would work. For right. six four sitting behind the driver, I could actually ride like this. And I didn't expect that to be the case. Um, let's see. I'll just make that move. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm pushing along. I don't know. But um, I, there was no room for me to go forward there anyway. Yeah. To be sure I don't lose my tactical props in the operation. <laughs> All right, so then here. Holy smokes. All right, so I'm, I'm going to have to do a video of how the seats fit in mine. But I am with military high back seats on the uh the a2 base i have got um i like i'm touching and if my legs straight up i'm in the dash i have to kind of cock it over which is bad because this section gets incredibly it hot and if i'm wearing shorts it's like i'm singeing and cooking my shin there a little bit so this is a lot of additional room this is meaningful for me at six four and that's and, part of that's taken out that three inches or so yeah, of that yeah um, cool. Rear cross member. And then you've almost got to be out of it to adjust it while you're in there to yeah. slide it forward. Um, yeah. All right. Well, let's see. Anything else that we missed that we want to talk about here? I don't guess that's, that's pretty much it on the chairs. Um, that's been probably the biggest game changer upgrade. Um, definitely a full weekend of work um, if you got a full weekend to vote to it. Mainly because, like I said, the back chair is easy, the front chairs. They just, there's a little bit of playing around to figure it out to get it just where you want it. Um, I put a piece of plywood in there and set the chair on it first before I mounted it just to see if I had it at the right elevation. Um, cause I didn't want to be sitting way down or way high and that kind of thing. Because um, it's so completely different from the chair that was in there that just because the base worked for that other chair, it might not have worked for this one. But I got lucky. Um, a lot of luck in all of it. So. Um, <laughs> but definitely at least a full weekends of work for me anyway. Um, someone a little more skills and talents might be able to do it a little quicker um, as opposed to the sun visors that took about 10 or 15 minutes maybe. Well, if someone wants to do it the way you've done it, you probably saved them half a day because they don't have to right. experiment and figure it out. They can just do what you did. Exactly. So we appreciate you sharing that. Absolutely. Um, let me give a quick bonus here at the end. of something that yesterday here at the show. So, so let's see, we're back in RV world just to get away from uh, the noise. You can see the trucks up there, all the different military vehicles. Honestly, a lot of campers and stuff blocking them so you can't see them. But way up the hill is where the uh, displays and vendors, and there's a road, and I stopped Ben driving down the road, and we were talking about this mirror. So here's your bonus. This is off one of the bigger trucks. I, I'm not sure which one, actually, but uh, that's another pretty cool little upgrade to give a lot larger mirror surface. Mm -hmm. And then this really um, 
you know, I, I don't want to the bolt yeah you can spin that to get a different so angle you see that moving a little bit so you're gonna have to readjust that I apologize I but I wanted people to see the range of adjustment there whereas the Humvee mirrors are fixed top and bottom you move the whole assembly but that lets you aim that lower one so I think that's a pretty cool little little thing you did and um, it worked with the stock bracket it yeah, comes with yeah. a, a different bracket so basically these pieces that go up on the other bracket they go down and the bracket comes down it's that much bigger it's basically mm -hmm. a few inches larger all the way around but again I got lucky I flipped the brackets over and it lined up yeah um, so again a little, little bit of luck goes a long way in these things yeah awesome well thanks thanks for showing us that and uh, if you're up for it I know we talked about doing a couple different additional options but I think what might be interesting to people is actually over here and a real simple but effective kind of modification to make the do you know is this an 1101 or 1102? 1102. 1102 all right which they're the same except for the data plates what I'm told but uh, to turn this Humvee trailer into a little uh, one or two person camper and uh, if you if you want to see that you have to go watch the other video because there's something special and different about this Humvee so with that, uh, go find that video if you like, and uh, if not, uh, we'll see you at the range.